All right, in this video, I want I want you to listen to this video and then comment down below and give me your opinion. What this girl did on this YouTube channel, was it right or wrong? You give me your opinion, okay? And, you know, explain why. Because simply saying, no, she's wrong, no, she's right, it doesn't make sense, okay? Now, I'll give you a context. Yesterday in my WhatsApp group, uh, you know, they send a lot of stuff. I saw this uh, thumbnail and the guys were commenting on that. It was like, what the hell? And I just accidentally just clicked on the group and that is where I saw that video. The thumbnail says, my first time giving a blowjob. So I saw who was, who it is. And there on the, I don't know, obviously. The girl uh, who was there on the uh, uh, thumbnail looked really young. I was like, bloody hell, she looks like, what, 14, 15 or really young. So I clicked on the link. It opened up a web page. Uh, YouTube video. I think this girl is around 17 or 18, Indian girl. You could make out with the way she was talking, just a little. She's a young girl, and I mean, there was, according to me at least, she didn't have, she was not very classy or elegant. She's like, ah, 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 talking. I was like, what the hell is this? So I saw the stats. Uh, she had around 54,000 or 55,000 subscribers. But this video had clocked in at half a million views or something. Okay. Now, you tell me your opinions, but I'll give you mine. Okay, is it right or wrong? Now, I'm pretty sure some of you will say, you know, it's her life. She can do what she wants. And, uh, you know, today people do a lot more worse. They show their body parts. They do only fans. Some might say that. Some might say, no, this is not right. What values did her parents, uh, you know, raise her? Did her parents approve of this content? Okay, but I'll give you my views and you tell me if I'm right or wrong. See, uh, today you can do whatever you want online, provided your parents' consent is there or you're an adult. Okay, and if you're not breaking any rules of any uh, the country that you reside, no problem. So she can talk about giving a blowjob. She can talk about, in fact, one other video I once saw some time ago, a young girl, it, she was talking about masturbation, how to masturbate. And she was showing how to, obviously she was not showing her putang. She was showing in a diagram and showing her fingers. And her friends were there, all young girls. huh? But you want to masturbate, you know, and they were showing dildos. And that got quite a number of views. I don't know what video was that. But it was like 3 million, 4 million views, something. Okay. Uh, it was a video from the West. And obviously, if you go to TikTok, you see many girls dancing like this, like this, and, you know, clothes and... Okay. So, fine, you can put all this content. But, and, you, you know, especially I told you, if your parents don't mind and the rules of the country permit. But now, where is the problem? The problem here is... And it's not long term also. I'm not talking of 30 years later, what will your children think and so say, you and I have made mistakes or you and I have done a lot of stupid things when we are in our 20s. Today, when we look back, we look back at it and laugh. Even there are porn stars, even there are prostitutes and all that. What they have done 20 years ago, they're like, yeah, that was a phase. I'm not talking 20, 30 years ago. Rather, I'm talking of the immediate aftermath, okay? See, why, today, why is our generation doing this? Why are people doing this? Why are they, in TikTok, why they're showing their bum and their boobs? Why girls are doing that? Why guys are showing, like, you know, muscles and literally bringing their trousers so much down, it only covers their crotch. Why people are doing all this? Why uh, guys are dressing up like girls and saying, you know, freedom and all that? Why? Because attention. Use attention. It, you know, the social currencies, views. Oh, you're famous. So people are doing this because they know they'll get noticed, famous. Money also comes in, more views. Okay. So that part is there. But there is a dark side to this. 
and the dark side is at least in the indian society number one is this girl will be branded in all the disrespectful terms possible like just imagine if she was walking with her family just imagine she's walking with a family and people know her what kind of taunts do you think they would say how much to suck or you know hey blow job acha deti hai and you know like they say oh she gives a good blow job ah ah they i mean what respect does a mother father and the girl what would they have whether she goes in a group whether she goes with her friends and she's not a superstar okay nikki minaj has twerked and showed her whatever and talked about wet ass pussy and her videos and she's a superstar and she's in the west this girl is in the like you know in a conservative society now next one okay one is that the second one is now that you have talked about blow job then you have sexualized yourself do you think it'll open up doors of opportunity which are positive or negative in fact what kind of a guy would approach you someone from a proper upbringing someone who's children have studied in uh, a decent college like you know indian families talk about marriage i mean which family with a proper society reputation would want to associate with a girl who talks about she gave a blow job i'm not saying girls shouldn't have sex or shouldn't uh, engage in sexual activity privately after you're an adult based on your value system based on your upbringing you do what you want but talking about it it's like a girl saying you know my vagina is wet is that appropriate or a guy says you know my dick is hard or you want to you know uh, when i have say i put the skin back and do you think that is appropriate i this is a classic case where the upbringing has not been proper that is number one second one is it's a shame for the parents because if they don't know about it that shows bad upbringing if they know about it and they have allowed this uh, they don't have any respect and value in society they will not because they want to sexualize their child and they don't mind it for a few pennies the third one is you are attracting a sex starved male population which is very dangerous number 4 is you will get branded every single place you go every single place and when you are young you think you are making a career uh, that's the last thing you need and the worst part is if in case let's say the youtube career stalls or things don't work out and you have to go into the real world do you know just imagine even the employer will think ah nice you know a man will think if i employer maybe there's a chance for sex or i can indirectly offer something you know you will just be looked upon as a sexual object if that is what she wants well she has succeeded great good for you and last if not the least almost all indian women all almost all not every single they have these value systems where one day they want to get married settle down have a child have a family you know have families together can you imagine if she were to get married and every single member of the family knew that she had this video where she spoke about her blow job you know how embarrassing it would be you know uncles and aunts look at oh blow job what are what they're going to sit down and discuss how was your blow job beta you enjoyed it did you suck and swallow <laughs> did you take it up the ass so it's sad uh, there are some things that should uh, at least for a youngster at least for a young girl okay boys can be shameless and stupid and okay it's a sad thing but don't think that a boy can talk at least today today is social media day you can talk sexually and get away with it there's a price to pay gone are the days where if you slept with too many girls you're known as a stud today it can backfire also
because companies are very particular corporates and brands how do you associate yourself so you might look like a hot shocked oh he has a big dick and uh, but yeah, you'll attract those kind of crowds not a family with values for me what this girl has done for the sake of views not for education i think not for the sake of empowerment for the sake of views for the sake of few dollars she has sold her respect she has sold her integrity she has sold her her family and she has branded herself for life because once you put a video it stays online forever there's archives and people can download i can tell you one thing for a fact she is going to be bullied left right and center and mocked and made fun of especially if you are famous for the sake of being famous and unless you are like this one indian female her name is what Ur urvi or something people keep uh, sharing her pics in uh, she she is famous just for showing her half naked body and there's one poonam pande uh, she is another adult porn star or something so she is also famous and the funny thing is she goes posing with small children oh goodness that shows what the children are watching because they recognize her anyway this is what i have to say i know you might say i'm old fashion but i'm sorry uh girl child talking this way parents are bringing is not proper yes you can have these conversations but it should be private not commercial for all pedophiles and perverts and you know crazy people checking it out and you're inviting trouble anyway this is what she wants to portray herself but you could say goodbye to her career that's it hope she enjoyed or hope it was worth whatever let me know your thoughts in the comments below good bad ugly love to hear from you you guys take care chal